Hey folks, it's Jay from Woodworking Blues. Okay, I just recently made a video about how to find some uh, free or cheap wood you can sell as hobby and craft wood. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and brave it and see if I can go ahead and demo this win nine inch bandsaw that I use to cut it down. If you want the specs, they're right there. Model number 3939, I've had him over a year. Just started using him when I discovered that I could get this stuff for free at the two, mainly the two major home improvement stores, meaning Home Depot and Lowe's. These planks, <coughs> excuse me, are put in between larger pieces of lumber to keep them from, uh, or help them dry. And what they do when they, uh, they break the bundle, they toss these away. They throw them out. Most are about 40 inches in length and they're either in pine or cedar. And they toss them out. Now I've developed a relationship with some of the managers and employees of uh, Lowe's and Home Depot and McCoy's and some other lumber stores around my area. And they've been setting this stuff aside for me instead of putting it in the dumpster for it to go to the landfill. And what I do is take it. Some of them ask me to give them a few bucks. I can get hundreds for a few dollars. Uh, and it's beautiful wood, and it's uh, pretty thick wood. It's pretty sturdy. So uh, I don't mind giving them a few, a few bucks for a few hundred, several hundred. But most of them let me have it for free, or they just tell me we've already tossed it in the dumpster. These are the same type, but it's cedar, beautiful cedar. I've used this as trim in some rental properties we own, and it's uh, stains up beautifully. I cut it down into five inch planks. Now the planks are the pine ones here. I put it on the local app and I sell it. And uh, some of these I sell in bundles of 50 and 100 as is. The same length they came, about 40 inches, some more, some less. But today I'm gonna show you how I cut it down, a little demo on this win. I guess not a real demo, not an unboxing, but uh, a little bonus, just to show you how well this thing works. I kind of abuse it. I don't have a uh, dust collection system attached to it on my tiny little workbench over here. Um, my shop is still a mess. I don't feel like showing it right now because it's so disorganized, I'm embarrassed to show it to you, but believe me, this is a 12 by 20 shop, but I only have about this much room right here to do any work on. But it's enough for me to cut these guys down, bundle them up, wrap them up with a, a rubber band and little bundles of five, put them in little boxes, a bundle of 50 or 100, and uh, put them on the local app as hobby and craft wood, and they sell. I don't ask for a whole lot of money because I don't pay a whole lot of money for them. And usually I don't pay any money for them. And I beat all the other hobby stores and online stores that sell this stuff. They, they sell this stuff at a premium. They sell this stuff sometimes a dollar, two, three dollars just for one plank. And sometimes shorter. So uh, I've already explained that in one video, the last video. So now in an effort to resurrect my Woodworking Blues channel, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little demo and show you how I cut these downs and how quick I can cut them down. This is not a whole lot, probably about a dozen planks. And once I get this camera set up and everything out of the way, you'll see how quick it goes. The bundling goes just as quicker, just as quick. And, uh, I post them up and I make money. So now what I do is I kind of put this at an odd angle instead of straight on like most folks would use a 
a bandsaw. This is a desk, uh, a, a bench top, by the way, nine inch win. And a great, great addition to my shop. So glad I bought it. And uh, I have been using him a lot. Now, usually I put a catch box right here. And uh, as I'm cutting, I, uh, they just fall into the, into the box. I'm not going to do that tonight. I don't have the box handy. Now, if I can set this camera up without messing anything up here, uh, I'm going to give you a quick demo. And I'll tell you what, guys, I understand now how hard it is to make YouTube videos. I don't, I seldom use a mount or have it in a while. And uh, man, it's a, it's a chore. I've spent more time in here right now trying to set this camera up right and get it, the angles right than I did cutting down those two boxes of uh, planks I just showed you. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and stick with it right there and get it done. And I'll show you how quick I can cut these down. So it costs me nothing. Very minimum time, very minimum money, if any, and good profit. So let's get this thing going. I always cut off the edge, kind of give it a clean cut. Try to throw a clean cut. See that? Part of the clean cut. That way, the more uniform. Sometimes I forget, and you'll see I may forget to skip a couple. But most of the time, I do try to cut that first little piece off.
there you go guys i hope that camera wasn't vibrating too bad is uh, i was cutting but there it is i don't know how many pieces i've got here i bottom them up in five pieces <laughs> blow them off a little bit and uh bottom them up with my rubber bands and uh off i go so uh yeah that easy guys sorry for the camera shaking that easy beautiful wood i try to save pieces or uh, edges like this i think it's beautiful some people don't like it if they don't then i'll just give them something like this without the white stuff on it and uh they're very happy so don't know how many pieces i got i set aside some of these that are beveled edges that's not what i'm after but i'll toss them in my uh in my uh, scrap box and sell that as uh as uh, spare parts or spare pieces bundle these up again just five pieces at a time rubber band put them in a little box there you go so that was less than five minutes guys and uh if you can see exactly how many I have, but that's what I've got. And uh, I've cut thousands, and I mean thousands of pieces, with this wind nine inch bandsaw. These are, they use this, I set this gate at five inches, and uh, I get busy. Again, I don't have a dust collection system. I need to set that up because you can see how bad it is. And, uh, yeah, I've got some stuff I need to do. I've got a few things I need to do with it. But overall, I'm happy. I'm happy with the results. And uh, I'm really, really impressed with this wind nine-inch bandsaw. So, guys, I hope that helps. As woodworkers, we're always looking for something or another way to make a little money. And I tell you what, these planks are uh are it hardly any effort required like i say i just cut them at five inches no particular reason but they do sell better i've noticed than when i try to sell them as the original 40 inches and uh these and the cedars and both beautiful pieces of wood and they both sell so, I hope you like this. If you did, if you do, please like, comment, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'm trying to resurrect Woodworking Blues. I've been neglecting this channel for a long time because I have too many other priorities in front of me that I have to attend to, but I really, really enjoy this. And I really enjoy bringing tips to folks who do this kind of work that can possibly bring you more profits and we can all use more profits so nothing else to add please like comment subscribe share and if you have any questions please put them in the comments i'd love to answer them i answer every comment and question and i'll uh, i'll let you know how to do how to go about it how to approach the managers if you need if you need some advice on how to approach the managers about getting this stuff for free or where to find it where to look for it let me know it's not that difficult until then folks jay austin for woodworking blues keep on woodworking